Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure. I'm Buffy Harakitis, EVP at JSA, and joining me today, we have Ross Toppel. He is the National Project Development Manager at Krona. Hi, how you doing, Buffy? Ross, welcome. Thank you. Well, it's so great to have you, and we're hearing so much about Krona. Thank you, yeah. You are a global leader in measurement. Yes, process uh, measurements, yep. Technologies. Yep. So something very unique to our space and definitely uh, needed, especially yes, with all this increase in demand that we're seeing in yeah. the industry. Why don't you tell viewers a little bit more about the unique dynamics and customer needs in the U.S. data center industry and what convinced you uh, to expand your footprint into this sector? Yeah. Buffy, we've uh, got a, a long history, a hundred year old company of making process instrumentation, uh, flow measurement technologies, world leaders in production, uh, highly robust, accurate uh, devices for measurement. And this is absolutely a space where we need to be. Uh, measurement, accuracy, and um, reliability is super critical. Uh, there's a lot of money on the line in terms of making sure that there's liquids making it to the racks. And we want to be part of the part of the group that makes that kind of measurement happen. Um, it just only makes sense for us to expand into this space. It's a good opportunity for us in this market. It moves us from classic process instrumentation uh, uh, areas like food and beverage, water and wastewater, chemical, oil and gas, mining, and it brings us into a, what we would consider kind of more of a commercial space, but with our robust technologies, we can fit right in really well there. Yeah, well, it seems like you are yeah. uh, fitting right into the puzzle yeah, here. We're working at it, yeah, yeah. for sure. And, you know, cooling reliability obviously is mission critical yeah. for hyperscalers, but also for colo yep. uh, providers as well and operators. How does Krona's ex experience, expertise in the precision measurement ensure uptime and operational excellence? Yeah, so, so the devices that we manufacture, uh, again, were built to last in really rugged environments. I mean, an example would be a, a mining slurry application at 20 feet per second. It's got you know, uh, dinosaur bones and trees and rocks and everything flying around in a pipe and water in a in a uh, in an AI application or a data center application is something that we can absolutely do. Um, it's the kind of stuff that um, we really feel important that that we're here in this space to be able to take advantage of it. And so we got to take and move ourselves from these industrial process opportunities and move ourselves to this more commercial space. It's typically someplace we haven't been because. Our technology is a little bit more expensive. It's it's physically more robust and it's capable of, you know, performing over the longer longer haul. You know, mean time between failures way exceed uh, what the data center life would be uh, for what it is that we're putting into. So we can we can last a long time in this space, and and that's one of the things that we're finding with commercial grade sensors is they fail pretty quickly. Will last for a long time. Yeah. You yeah. mentioned AI. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we almost got through the interview with that, but yeah, yeah. Why we're think talking it's, about it's hard to. yeah, especially yeah. here. I mean, AI. Yeah. Is really everywhere. Yeah. On all the topics, uh, the agenda, the yeah. keynotes, but let's talk a little bit about AI acceleration, driving the demand for infrastructure, and how Krona is positioning its U.S. operations not to just serve current needs, but you're thinking way ahead. Yeah. Uh, into the future. Yeah, we are. We are. Uh, we're doing everything we can to increase our production, uh, increase our production capacity both here in the States as well as some of our manufacturing facilities overseas to make sure that we have product available and it's ready on time. You know, one of the stories that we keep hearing is uh, somebody calls up and says, hey, I need 50 flow meters. And our, some of the competition in the planet out there is just so overstressed by this stuff that that they're behind and we are not in a position to be behind right now. We have inventory and we're ready to go. So we can meet those rapid demands. Unfortunately, sometimes things happen and you got to be able to jump right in, right in the middle of it and make sure that people can get the equipment when they need it. And so that's what our goal is to make sure that we're doing that. Yeah. I mean, speed to power is everything. Well, it's, we, we don't have time. I mean, yeah. it's, I think as you look in the, in, you know, the global stage and everything that's going on in our country, there's an extreme commitment to, you know, this AI bridge that we're, we're kind of crossing right now. We're building infrastructure. We're building the new roads. We're building, uh, you know, we're building AI that is going to help us to solve a lot of problems in our society today. And we don't have time to waste. And you know, like we keep talking about in, in the global news and the American news, you know, we want to be first. So we got to be ready with our product to make sure that they can build these data centers and be on time. And the clock is ticking. Hey, man, it sure is. Yeah. The clock is ticking. Yeah. 
So uh, thank you so much. Well, I appreciate for, it. For it was fun. I, yeah, and, it's uh, awesome. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would like to let our viewers know? Yeah, please just go ahead and find us online. We're uh, at, at Corona.com and uh, you can look at look at us there. We also have a LinkedIn page you can follow and uh, we're ready to help and support your needs as they come up. We're ready to go. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so yes, much again, Ross, for joining us here on JSA TV live from Yada 2025. And thank you for tuning in, uh, viewers at home. Yeah. Have stay a great curious, afternoon. stay connected, and happy networking.